So now we're going to do experiment four, the space telescope. And first we're going to detach the parts that you need from the die cut sheet. So first the objective lens holder. Then the ocular lens holder. And you can punch out this little hole in the middle. Then the field lens holder. Then the ocular tube. And then the objective tube. Okay, now once you have all of these pieces from your die cut sheets, you're going to fold them along the specified lines and glue them together. So let's start with the tubes. So let's fold them. And the dotted area is where you glue on the inside to make the tube. And you can either use glue or tape, whatever works better for you. I find that tape works better for me, so I'm going to put tape on this. And then let's do the other two. First fold them along the creases, and then once again glue them or tape them. If you use glue and they're not holding together very well, you can always take a paper clip and clip the part that's been glued to make it hold better. Now we're going to glue the lenses in place. So the smallest lens goes into the light blue ocular lens holder. So we're going to fold the flaps up and then glue this lens in place on the unprinted side. And once again, if tape works better for you, then feel free to use tape. And then the medium sized lens, which is the field lens, goes into the long field lens holder. And then the largest lens, which is the objective lens, goes into the dark blue objective lens holder. So let's fold up the flaps here. So now we have all of our lenses in the lens holders and we're going to glue the long holder with the field lens to the inside of the light blue ocular lens holder. So you're going to hold it like this and it says glue here on these flaps. So those flaps are going to go down and you're going to glue them right onto this side of the light blue ocular lens holder. So once again, feel free to use glue or tape, whatever works better. All right. Now we're going to affix the holders to the telescope tubes. So take this and you're going to take the narrower tube, the one that has the gluing dots on the light blue end, and then you're going to push this lens into it and then glue these flaps down. And once again, feel free to use tape or glue. And then we're going to take this last lens, the objective lens, and glue it onto the end of the other two where you see the glue dots. Okay, now we're going to add the final lens to the other tube, which is the objective lens. So you're going to take it and stick it on on the end of the tube with the glue dots. And then once again, you're going to glue it down or tape it, whatever works best for you. All right. And then we're going to put these two tubes together. 
Next you're going to put the smaller side inside of the larger side. The smaller side is the darker blue side. So you're just going to fit it right in and push it all the way through. And now you have your telescope. And you can look at it through the smallest lens. You can move the tubes to bring the image into focus. It works best during the day and it works best if you keep the telescope as still as possible. You can do this by sticking it in a branch or on a chair or even on a tripod. Or you can just try to hold it really still. You'll also notice that the images you see are upside down, which is typical for a Kepler telescope. But that doesn't really matter when you're looking at the stars because there's no up or down in space. 